Majesty, it grieves me to be the bearer of such intolerable news. An elvish miscreant has just left the castle. He came to deliver the message that his disreputable brethren have taken your son hostage. Apparently, they see only the size of your treasury, not the depth of your skilled leadership. These foul opportunists demand you pay a ransom, or, they say, you'll never again see your son alive. How shall we deal with this elvish impudence, my liege? Cypher Boy here. Today we are doing a Majesty Pedri for Elven Treachery. And let's see if I can figure out. I actually recorded that. Um, it doesn't say, but. Uh, Anyways, this is one of the harder um, quests out there because you have to either raise 50,000 gold or destroy all the elves in their time limit. What makes it so difficult is that the elves come over and um, destroy your buildings. So you end up having to spend even more just to try and upkeep them. So that's the issue there. So I forgot what all happens here because it's been a while since I played this one. Um, I think I had this one on my old uh, computer. So I want to say about maybe I played it around 2017 or so, I think. Yeah, so I do have videos that old. Um, and I'm just now getting around to them. There's not much to say for this one, but <clears throat> one tip I can give you is to Surround your marketplace with the guard towers or the guard house because if you don't, there's a chance that the sewers end up surrounding it, and that's a bad thing because then the rat man and the, and the rats end up going over to destroy your marketplace. So, you want to have the gnome hovels because not only do they attack enemies they build up your places super fast. Um, you want the guard houses to be fully upgraded in order to make sure you have the advanced guards or the elite guards, whatever they're called here, along with the arrows. When an enemy gets close to the guard house, they shoot the arrows uh, towards the enemy. And you want to get the castle or the palace upgraded to level 2 so you can do the uh, temples. As you see here, I'm doing the Temple to Crypto, which is my ultimate favorite temple here. Because they have the... Uh, what are they called? Necromancers, I guess I could say. And their temple is the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the inspiration, that's the word, of my novel series, which includes um, Necromancers as the main characters. Anyways, not only do the elves come and attack your buildings, they also attack your heroes. <laughs> so here's the Temple of Krypta. 
Temple to Crypta. Sorry. Um, and here I'm doing the Temple de Fervis, which is also great because each of those two temples end up giving you a whole ton of extra um, allies in the form of skeletons and vampires if there is any on the map. Uh, zombies on the wildlife that can be charmed by the furthest pe cultist people. So this one you want to load up your forces as fast as possible and have them attack the elven places. Um, you can try to uh, raise up enough money, enough gold in order to uh, do the uh, that uh, was I cannot talk. Um, in order to raise it up to fifty thousand gold. That's what I try to do is raise the gold and also destroy them. That way I got ex like the both scenarios I can go with. Although that is super difficult to do. And you can see the skeletons walking around. And if you notice the green plus sign at the bottom, um, when your skeletons end up low on health you can also heal them with that because that's your sovereign spell from the temple to fervus temple to crypta they allow i think it's the very last spell where they allow you to resurrect a hero although it costs a whole lot of money in order to do that and i think the money uh, amount ends up going up a lot uh, afterwards like each time you resurrect someone or heals, yeah, resurrect someone. I think that's the one that raises the gold up each time you have in order to uh, make it to where you can resurrect again. So you want to do the level two rogue skill in order to. Uh, research the poison that will allow the rogues to go around planting mushrooms the poisonous kind in order to tip their weapons with the poison you can see here they're attacking the uh, what's this called the elven hovel or elven something or other here it is elven bungalow um, says it on the reward flag at the bottom and there's multiple of these open places around the map I think there's like five or six maybe if I remember it's been a while since I played this scenario scenario and it also is randomized every time you play any map or any quest so it's not going to be the same um, no matter how many times you play it, that's why this game is has the really good replayability options. Um, you can also create your own maps and everything, your own quest. So, looks like the elves are coming up to cause more trouble. I think that was a house you saw that was um, burned down. Good thing they were scared of the skeletons, so that's why I've got the Temple to Crypta. Because they'll run away if they see the skeletons walking towards them. As you see there. So that's a great strategy if you want to beat the game by uh, destroying all of their strongholds. And all these different things on the map, like the 
bear dens and wolf dens and everything. The cultist to Furbus, um, they can charm the animals and then the animals will fight for you. So the Temple to Crypta and the Temple to Furbus together are like powerhouses pretty much. Although you won't be able to do the Temple to Chrome, which are the bar barbarians. The Temple to Aegis, I think it's called. Aegis, something like that. They're the healers. Or the Temple to, I think it's called Doros, which are the monks. They can heal uh, people. Um, or was it they just have the super strength? Something like that, anyway. Has no, or he has two poison, potions, but you can also um, do the healing spell for the sovereign if you don't want them to uh, use one of their potions up, especially if they're far away from the castle or the village. see the bird right there um, I think that would be oh never mind they killed it um, I was thinking the cultists would have charmed it to work with you but or work with them but it didn't happen as you can see I'm using up the healing spell a lot so that also drains your uh, Income or at the top the palace treasury is what it's called time your character levels up that's when the health goes back up again uh, in case you were wondering and each level they're able to learn new things although wizards and other um, spellcasters will do great with the library uh, available you have to research the spells for that though, but you can only get the library once you have the wizard skilled um, up on in the land somewhere. Otherwise, I don't think it will show up, um, unfortunately. But the non spellcasters, they can also train their intelligence and everything like that, so. And they can learn minor spells, I believe. Um. As you can see, there's three, currently three, Elven Stormhosts. There might be another one uh, hidden behind the Fog of War, which is the black areas of the mini-map up there, in the lower left-hand corner of the map. If you have a um, multiplayer, we put the statue down and that inspires the loyalty of your subjects to keep them from going over to another player's uh, side.
also the reward flags stay in the explore once they take up a lot of your treasury too because you want to have enough people uh, seeing the flags to get the reward otherwise they will not probably attack anything unless they're the ranger skilled because they're the ones who go out and and the warrior skilled also probably should have gotten the warrior skilled if that's available in this game in this scenario but I don't remember if it did or have it or not the warriors are pretty expensive though but there's I want to say three or four different kinds you can have at the guild depending on the temples you have I'm not sure if I had ended up with the um, putting a blacksmith down or not. I see the elves here have one, but I don't remember if I put one down. But if you do play this scenario, it's a good one, chance to raise your income uh, through the weapons they sell. And once you're um, once these elven places are destroyed, it may be a good idea to have your peasants build an inn along with some uh, guard houses, along with some more temples. That way, you're able to um, have your people rest in the inns and buy whatever they need and all that stuff. Have a trading route even to gain more gold. Elms Roar, that's a funny sign they put out. Scenario said, was it 25 or maybe 30? 
Uh, but it looks like we're going to win this scenario. There's only this building and then the uh, statue here left over. Your Majesty! Your son is returned to you, Your Highness. Though we were unable to catch the nefarious elven kidnappers, the new head of the palace guard promises that such an intolerable breach of security will never occur again. Rest well, my liege. Your family is safe at last.